full name and your title, please? I'm the Right Reverend Dr. Derek Browning, and I'm the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. First of all, if you could just tell me your reaction to uh, the awful news this morning. <coughs> like everybody waking up to this news this morning on our screens and on our radio is just stunned amazement that something so cruel and so wicked and so senseless could happen. So many innocent lives caught up in this tragedy and the ripple effects out into families and communities will be immense. That's something that, that is just shocking and stunning for us to try and take on board. And you started off today's proceedings with a minute silence, you know, as a mark of respect for um, the people that suffered in this terrible thing. I felt it was very important, not simply to say words, which can convey a lot, but to have a time of silence where everyone can gather their thoughts and think about what has happened and how they might respond to these things. Sometimes it's in the silence where we have that opportunity to reflect on what has happened much more clearly. Mm -hmm. And there was also some comments made in the debate today, you know, um, reaching out to the Muslim communities, not just, you know, in Scotland, but throughout the UK. Yes. I think that's important. Uh, we've had a discussion at the Assembly and the, the whole General Assembly uh, is sending their best wishes and their prayers and their support to the people of Manchester and to all the communities affected here. We've had people from England speaking from the debate, many of them far from home, wondering what things will be going on there. Somebody with their connections to Manchester spoke very powerfully. But equally importantly, one of our commissioners from Dunfermline, who has connections with local mosques, has said we must remember at this time that many moderate Muslims will be very frightened and very nervous about any potential backlash. We hope this doesn't happen. We in the Church of Scotland recognise that these kinds of activities are not perpetrated by moderates, it's by extremists and they do not represent the truth and the beauty of the Islamic faith. We stand as a Christian community alongside our Muslim sisters and brothers at this time as well as with the victims in Manchester and hope that together we may move forward from what must be a hugely traumatic event. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, there'll be praise for the emergency services and the way that they've handled the event of last night and this morning. Absolutely. It always is, is, a, is a wondrous thing when we see our emergency services, the women and men who work there, not running away from the difficulty but running towards it, almost careless of their own particular care and safety at that point. There will be many acts of quiet and inconspicuous bravery taking place yesterday as people helped people out of that very difficult situation. I heard stories of a person in a wheelchair being helped out by different people at different times. It's terrible that these things have to happen in this particular way, but when these things happen, there are people of goodwill around who will do the right and the decent thing, and we have seen that in Manchester today. Perfect, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.